thank you to everyone who continues to support The Habit at patreon.com slash dosabuckley. I can now afford to eat something other than Costco hot dogs. But I still do eat them because they're delicious. No one's above a Costco hot dog, come on. If I had the power of resurrection, I'd dig up a bunch of old dudes who created TV shows in the 50s and 60s. The guys who made The Andy Griffith Show, Leave It to Beaver, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. I'd put them all in a room, and I'd tell them, Hey, you know all that work that went into making your shows? The thousands upon thousands of man hours that generated 200, 300, in some cases 600 episodes? Yeah. You know what people watch today? You know who makes the most money? People who record themselves watching clips of people falling down or doing some sort of stupid dance and just react to them by making faces or laughing or going, Oh wow, that's crazy! Not the people dancing or falling, the people watching the dancing or falling. They are more popular than anything any of you ever made. Then, I'd leave a gun in the room with exactly one less bullet than there are people in the room, lock the door behind me, and let them decide what they want to do. I'd record the whole thing, upload it to TikTok, and eventually a video of some space case with glasses and huge tits reacting to it would get 20 million views on YouTube. Buckley, are you gonna actually bitch about reaction videos? Yes. Yes, I am. Because sure, they've existed for a while, but this shit is getting even lazier than ever. There was a time when the Fine Brothers, and I can't fucking believe I'm about to defend them, used to show a hint of effort. They'd at least come up with a premise, like, Hey, I first heard Nirvana when I was 13, but today's teens don't even know what Nirvana is, so let's make them listen to it and see what they have to say. It was kids say the darndest things, minus the date rapist host. But now, people just literally record themselves watching other people's videos, post it, and that's content. And sometimes, they don't even watch it. Perhaps you've heard of XQC. 2 million subscribers on YouTube, a decent number, but he really made his name on Twitch, where his popularity led to him getting an offer of $100 million for two years to stream on a platform called Kick. I think it's called that because the only people on it are usually people who got kicked off of other platforms. But $100 million for this. While streaming and reacting to someone's video, he just fucks right off for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. He just leaves while someone else's video plays. $100 million. He had also recently taken shit for posting himself watching an entire hour and 38 minute video that someone made about the Kennedy assassination. His video was one hour 53 minutes. He provides roughly 15 minutes of any sort of content or insight. Most of it is just him making faces or saying, uh, yeah, this is a good video. Like, imagine if Joe Rogan, who got paid, what, 200 million? Something like that? Just played someone else's podcast for his entire show, and then went, Wow, that's wild, man. Every few minutes, and fucked off for 20 minutes to go do something else. No, whether you like the guy or not, he makes two, three, four-hour shows several days a week, and it's him and a guest talking, creating actual content in the form of discussions about, you know... People's careers, current events, conspiracy theories, whatever. He's creating something. XQC creates nothing. Not a fucking thing. One argument that's been made is that reaction videos actually help creators. The creator of the video that XQC went and took a shit during, a guy by the name of Neo Explains, showed a graph that showed absolutely no bump in views at any point from XQC showing his video. Anecdotally, I can tell you that I've never received any sort of view bump from this either. It's gone now, but years ago, someone made a reaction video to my racially insensitive history of WWE video, where I look at a bunch of questionable gimmicks of the 80s and 90s, and the time that Vince McMahon said the N-word to John Cena on live TV. Someone recorded themselves watching that video, every now and then cutting in to say, Oh wow, yeah, I remember that, that was crazy. And that was it. I remember his video got like 100,000 views. If you look at my video, there's no significant spikes after I uploaded it. Nothing. It didn't benefit me at all. It benefited someone else, though. 
They didn't have to come up with a topic or write a script or think about anything. They just had to find a YouTube video, press play, and record themselves nodding along to it. Someone else who's made a huge career out of this? The space case with glasses and big tits I mentioned earlier. SS Sniper Wolf, which is maybe one of the worst names ever. Has anyone ever told her who the SS were? That they had snipers or what Operation Werewolf was? Seems like a strange choice, but hey, Buckley's just a big ol' lib now. Everyone's a Nazi to him. Anyway, Sniper Wolf's entire channel is just her watching videos and making these faces at them. She has a little more to say than XQC, but ultimately it's not generally anything of value or anything that adds to the videos. It's like it's worse than Bob Saget on America's Funniest Home Videos, but at least they used to give $10,000 to someone who submitted their video to that show. Double D Panzer Bear ain't giving anyone shit. But ready for this? YouTuber The Act Man pointed this out on Twitter, so he deserves the credit for this. In a video she titled, People Who Didn't Get What They Expected, she plays a clip of someone jumping on a little trampoline to dunk a basketball. This amazes her because I think she maybe lives in an underground bunker? Anyway, three clips later, she plays the same fucking clip. This shit is like the Teletubbies for, well, I want to say adults, but adults with arrested development? Just repeating the same shit. Why would she do this, you might ask? Well, let's check the length of the video. Oh, interesting. 8 minutes and 15 seconds. I bet when she made this video, it was just under 8 minutes, which is the length of time you need to get to to be allowed to have double ad breaks in the middle. This clip was 20 seconds long. So, slap it in there a second time, a 7 minute and 55 second video becomes 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Done like dinner. Some longtime viewers mentioned in the comments that this is a pretty regular occurrence. Like, not only is she too lazy to make her own content, she's too lazy to just find one more video. And perhaps worse than XQC, there's no credit. There's no links to any of these videos that you can go watch them or subscribe to the original creators. They don't have to, Buckley, it's fair use. Yeah, except it's not. Kick knows this. They actually told XQC, their $100 million baby, to stop streaming The Dark Knight one day. Staff showed up in his chat and were like, hey, shut this down, because they know. I used this example before, but Mystery Science Theater 3000 is basically three guys talking over a movie. It's like the original reaction content, except they actually scripted it and it's good. They have to pay for the rights to that movie. They don't just get to say, oh, it's fair use. That's not how it works. But XQC and SS Sniper Wolf get away with it by sticking mostly to YouTube videos. Because who the fuck is going to sue them? They have money, and the people they rip off don't. So, why do people like this shit? That's the real question. As always, XQC or SS Sniper Wolf or any of these reactors wouldn't be popular if no one watched it. And if they weren't popular, other people wouldn't copy them. But millions of people do watch it. Well, I have a theory. Uh, no, nope, never mind, I did this bit last week. I think it's just people who want to watch videos with someone and have no friends. So, SS Sniper Wolf is now your friend. XQC is now your friend. The other friendless losers in the chat? They're now your friends. That's gotta be it, right? It's another parasocial relationship. You get to feel like you're hanging out with people watching stuff together. When in reality, you're sitting at home, by yourself, with no one to text, probably because when they used to come over, you'd sit there and talk over every fucking video because you thought that was normal behavior because that's what a bunch of annoying weirdos on the internet got rich doing. But you know, I've been called a tryhard before. And hey, maybe they're right. I mean, I get like 40,000 views now. If I'm really lucky, I'll have a video that does 70, 80, 90,000 views. That's an incredible performance for me now. Meanwhile, I spend all this time trying. I wrote down every single word I'm going to say, including the words I'm saying right now. This is all scripted. Me telling you this is scripted is scripted. And then I edit out any mistakes, take out all the breaths, make it the best possible version of itself that it could be. And then 
A guy makes $100 million to go take a nap while he plays someone else's videos. And a girl who creates absolutely no original content and just films herself making the most brain-dead observation of other people's videos gets a million, two million views every video. So, what the fuck am I doing? I've made like 700 videos of original content at this point. I should just start making videos of myself reacting to those videos. You don't go to Amsterdam and mention the highlight of the trip being that you ate a banana, unless you ate that banana out of a Dutch girl's canal. <laughs> Hilariously, it also goes on- Oh to man, I actually uh, originally was gonna write that one as uh, Dutch girl's tulips. And then, uh, when I run out of those, I can make videos of myself reacting to my reaction videos. Oh, that's pretty interesting that I made that joke instead of the other one. I don't know, I, I think I kind so of on. The Oh, did I find that interesting? Oh, shut up. You just saw up your own ass. And so on. Oh, wow, man. I started arguing with myself. Until every video is just a cacophony of my own voice shouting over itself. And somehow, it's still less annoying than XQC. Chat, you know chat? No chat, no chat. There will be a time where people don't even use cars anymore, dude. There used to be a time where people were gonna start flying. Hundred million dollars.